Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to Modded Mega Aquarium. I think today we're going to have a look at one of our um, requests here. We have the Lump Supper, Lump, Lump Sucker Observation Request. Um, let's read this. Hello, I represent the Ocean Life Consortium. We are very interested in observing the behaviour of lump suckers in captivity. If you are able to construct an enclosure for the following, with the following parameters and allow us to observe it for a period of time, we will compensate you for your efforts. Uh, build a tank with four lump suckers in for three minutes. They'll give us 8,600 now and 8,600 later on. I think we can say yes to this. So we'll get that and we'll get our money. And then I think in this tank here, we've only got these cuckoo rats. Um, they don't have any particular difficulties with anything um they don't like crustaceans but that's about it and they eat uh cockles they like caves but other than that they're, they're happy in there with with everything so if we have a look at the lump suckers what do they like i think they are down in the is it the odd jobs odd things um other inverts oddballs here we go lump suckers two to ten they cannot be housed with other species that eat mussels. Well, we bees eat cockles, so that's fine. So yeah, these should be okay. So we need one, two, three, and four in there. So we need a little bit of um, rock in here again. So we can grab, let's put a driftwood in. Oh, it's rock, no, sorry, not cave, it's rock. So we will need uh, some of these live rocks. We'll just put one there, and one there, and that will do. Excellent. So those uh, lump suckers are in there. We have this ticking down. We'll fast forward. Now we'll be able to complete that. That was actually much easier than I thought it would be. So while we're waiting for that to tick down, I think we'll grab another load of land here. So I'm going to drag this out to the maximum amount that it can go. And then I'm going to pause the game while I put the wall in again. I'm just going to put the wall across that bit for now. Um, no, in fact, I will put all of this across. And that's just the, make sure the staff only go in these areas rather than back here as well. That's all that is for, really. And I think over here, I also want to put in another toilet area. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put that there, I suppose, that can go. I'm going to put some walls in just here and we can oh there's rank nine excellent i've been waiting for that so we now have medium live rocks we have crab trap tra crab traps we have jungle paint we have asparagus weed and we have columns wonderful and we also have a ton of fish we're gonna go for uh the achilles sturgeon fish first we'll get that one and we will go for the large pump straight away in here though, I want to separate off up to there. Um, this is going to be our new toilet block. So I want to have that there as where the first... No, in fact, I want it to be there. This is only going to give me three toilets in here. So I suppose I can actually bring this back one more to there. And that'll be okay. So we will cut those off there. And there's that one done. So we've got a ton more money now. We will grab some deluxe toilets. And we'll put those one, two, three, and four. We will also add in a, let's see, that in here. We'll add a sponge sink just there. And we'll add in a bin just there and I suppose actually we can add in also as you can see sturgeon fish done already go for a the slender seahorse I think I'll have some slender seahorses in here um we want which one is it let's have a look um what am I doing yes it's in here and it is Sorry, the broom cupboard there. That's what I wanted. And so now this is all ready to go. So we can knock that bit out there. Add a visitor door into there. And that'll be good. And then I suppose we can also go to here. Grab some harbourside paint. 
and paint my door. Um, I think I'll leave the inside as a fairly clinical blue for now, that's okay. And people are already starting to use the toilets in there, that's wonderful. Right, we have two new rooms now, so we have this room over here and this room over here. I think in here I want to build some um, Belfast tanks, I think would be good in here. Now just to have a look at how much space we've got, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten across there, and one, there's the seahorses, we'll go for the skates next. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that will give us a fairly square room. But we've only got three back here to be able to put stuff, and I don't think that's going to be quite enough to be able to do things. Or is it? We can test it, because we can get access back there, and we can put a staff door in somewhere. So we may have a look, see if we can do anything here. Wow, look at the amount of ecology points we've got, and just how fast we're going through all of this. Let's have a look at these. Hadley has levelled up. We'll go for your cleaning. And Yvette has levelled up. Go for your fixing. So that gives us a symmetrical room at least. Um, and so I think we'll go for a Belfast tank in here. So we'll bring it out that way. We will put it here and we will bring it out to maximum size. And another one up in there. There's Blonde Skate. We'll go for this one next. Just racing through all of these. So here we have two tanks with access behind. Now usually actually I do um, staff doors. One there, and one there, one there, and one there. And then we can open up all of that bit like that and that gives us access into here and we can now cut that bit back and our markers as well so we'll cut back all of those like that i suppose we could actually put a staff door in here as well to give us access back there that would be one thing we can do um this room now we will want a door coming in um, and then this room will be something brand new. Go for the Atlantic Cod. I think I want something fairly big in these. Um, I'll go for the, the Tassel Wobble Gang Shark and that will be one of our first ones. We may have this as a shark room. Now my main aim with this is to have this as the feeder as we've been having uh, and then essentially emptying out pretty much everything from that um, into other rooms. We'll go for the large tunnel tank because I think that would be really cool here as well. I may try and swap this corridor out for a, for a large tank and that would look pretty cool I think. And it would hide everything on either side, it would give us enough space to keep everything in. We'd have to move the toilets but that's okay. Um, so I'm hoping yeah, to be able to put a large tunnel tank here and a large tunnel tank here and then when we get to it maybe a large tunnel tank up here as well to take us through to the new areas. Um, let's have a look at the large lump suckers have grown, that's good. Um, and Fred has levelled up, we'll go for your fixing. New animal, that's a cod done, we'll go for the tassel wobble gang shark next and we'll put that in one of these. Um, yeah, so eventually we will be um, taking everything out of here and changing this all around uh, and making this into much more of a open entryway, uh, a foyer section. Um, with a few talks around, maybe a few of these podium tanks to show off some of the, the smaller species and maybe a couple of these Belfast tanks just here to show off some of the larger ones as well. Um, that might be pretty cool. Let's have a look at these. Olive, we'll go for your cleaning. Dakota will go for your feeding, and Isaac, we will go for your feeding. That's everybody. Wonderful. Um, 
yeah, because there's, there's a lot of fish in here at the moment. Oh. Hunger. Right, do we need some more stuff? I think we might need some more stuff. Let's have a look who is good at feeding. I mean, you're not good at it. You are very, very good at fixing. You're going to be amazing at fixing. You're okay. That's Malek. Um, nope. No, you're okay, but not great. Um, feeding. Not hugely great. Nope. Lorenzo's definitely one we are going to want. And you are actually pretty good. I'm going to hire Lorenzo now because we're going to want you for the, um, the talk. So we want to build up your talking. Feeding on Ilza, 28. Feeding on you, 23. Feeding on you, you get plus 6, you'll be on 26. You get nothing. You are actually pretty good. There we go, that's more like it. We'll go for Verity. Harry, no. Gabri, you're very, very good, but not... Actually, no, you're not actually that good at talking. Surprising, considering you've got a, a charisma of 8. And a feeding of 5 on you. Hmm. See if there's anybody else just quickly going through. No. And no. No. Memory of nine. You're going to be really fast to level up. But no. No. And Kel. Yeah, we'll go for Kel as well. So we've got three new members of staff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them straight over to here. So we'll unpause the game, we will grab you, bring you straight over to here, which needs that. We will grab you, put you there as well, and we will also put you there. So one of these should be grabbing that, come on over here, and feeding. Excellent. That's that saved. A couple of episodes ago we put in these, t uh, these pumps here to... Um, feed all of these, these four podium tanks here. However, now we just have got the new pumps. So we can delete both of these, get rid of all of them, and we can put in a single large pump instead. So that can go actually pretty far over now. We can actually move some of this all the way over to here. And that would actually do it. So we'll grab that onto there. This can also add to there, to here, and to here. That's all of those. Now we will grab... It only needs 28 heat. So, one of these... But two of these would actually be enough and they are more reliable than anything else this one alone would be but this is just as equal as one of these I think we'll go for one of these so we'll put one of those in there so that's all the heating done we also need a large mega double filter in there and that will just completely fill all the needs for those there we go. That's actually pretty good. So now we've cut down on the amount of stuff we need in here. Um, we can also put a staff door in here now. We can also put the, um, maybe even put the, the large tunnel tank in once that does, once that's done. We've also got the, the large Tasselback shark done now. So we can put that into here with, and make this look all pretty now. So I want to come back behind here. I want to try and put the uh, the pump in here with everything else that I need. So I'm going to need a um, a, a platform in here. Is that how much I need on that? Oh, I didn't know that. You can press E and Q to raise and lower the platforms. That's really quite cool. Learn something new in this game every day. So there is that, and we can put these into 
there like that. And they can still get out the doors and they can still move up and down. So that's fine. It doesn't block off any access around here. So now we need to get a, let's grab a pump. And we can put the pump in to there like that. And that will connect up to here. And on here, this is 225 total space in here. So what are we like on these? These are 220. Um, so we don't actually need this. And we'd want one of the other ones as well. One of these large heaters. Like that. And then we want to go for a mega double heater just there. And that fits everything in there. So now can we go for the, the shark, uh, the Tassabang shark. And I think we'll get two of these. I mean, we could get three. No, we'll get, we'll get two of them. So this needs crab. So we'll grab a crab dispenser. We'll place that there. And we need a load of cave. So we'll come down to here. We've got the pitted columns now. So we'll place one of those in there and one like that. At the back here with the Belfast tanks. I love using the um, the this egg rack stuff down at the front so that you have to look through that and then at the back I always like to have the nets so I think the nets look really good at the back here in fact I'm going to move that net I'm going to put that one there and I'm going to put another net in like that so we've got two nets at the back I'm going to try and fill this up with a fair amount of stuff there's a cannon here the cannon looks pretty cool and we'll go for one of these new medium live rocks just there and then some of this new bullhead kelp and we'll dot that around as well so we'll have a look what that looks like in first person wow we come up to it i do like looking through the the egg rack here and the kelp the nets at the back, we've got a um, cannon behind there. I think a skull would look really quite cool in there. So we'll grab a skull as well. That is in this one. Get a skull, and that'll be just at the back, just there. Let's have a look in. Yeah, that skull looks pretty cool. That does look cool. And then we've got the, the two sharks in there. We can add other stuff in as well. These guys will eat fish and crustaceans size 4. We'll have a look what they will eat when they grow up as well. Because we've got another couple of growth stages to go through yet before they get big. And that'll leave this on 88. There's plenty more space in here um, to be able to put stuff more stuff in. Um, but if they can eat size 8, then we want to make sure that um, we don't put stuff that's too big in. So I'm not going to do any decoration in here just yet because I want to see what else I want to add in, what other fish I want to add in, um, stuff like that. I may put another few of these Belfast tanks on this side um, and I think that would look pretty cool. And we can gain access to the backstage of it back here as well, which again would look good. We may actually be able to bring this in further then. Hmm, actually yes we would. Let's do that then. If we said we wanted to bring this out by another three, this would move out to here. That would give us a five wide in the centre, so no, it'd have to be another two. Um, so we'll delete those bits, put that wall back in. Nope, just that. So that would come out by another two, which means all of this would come out by another two as well. 
like this and all of this and this we'd have a four gap in the middle like that and I'll put some walls across here some walls across there and some walls across there and then finally we can delete all of this just like that we can also now that all of this is in we can just hook that back up again this gives us some more space back here so that gives us the ability to say that we want another two of these Belfast tanks which are here and we would want them say there that's right and want it there as well just like that and so you walk into that room you got four Belfast tanks two on either side so we could have uh, let's put the, the staff doors in there, 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 and there. And then we put the walls in down like that, and across to there. That gives us the ability to cut those two out, and we would actually want a little bit more space back here as well. Um, so we could do something along those lines there. And that gives us a fairly small room here. I mean, we could extend this out further. Um, we can have more in here. I think this looks okay though for now. Um, gives us space to be able to do stuff. I am gonna, for now, um, block off everything along here and just have it as this one. I'm gonna delete that bit there. And put a visitor door in just there. And then we're going to paint that wall just to be harbour side like the other bits. So you're actually coming out of out of this section into a new section here and at the moment we've just got the, the Tassel Wobber Gang Shark and if you haven't seen my campaign series go back and watch it because it is pretty good but you probably won't know why I'm blocking off this. Um, in my campaign series I did this a lot and it was something that, that we did quite a lot in, in especially in I think it was Le Dupont. Um I think it was that one anyway uh, it was the one I did where I limited myself to only using maximum size tanks I'm going to press play now as well by the way um, yeah I only used maximum size tanks throughout, throughout the entire build um, and I did that because they were asking for all the large ones. It was one with one with the, the sharks, I think it was. Uh, we had to get at least one of each of the different types of shark, um, apart from whale sharks. One where you introduced to the Tassel Wobba Gang shark. And I found that it was best to block off the tanks once you'd built them until you got stuff in them. And this allows you to, to model out a load of different layouts. It allows you to say, yes, I want a a tank here and a tank there and a tank there, measure them all out, actually pay for them as well, uh, put them all in position and plan out a massive extension. So we could build out a huge extension back here and put all the tanks in it and plan it all out and do all of the, the, um, the plumbing for it and all of the decoration for it and everything. And then we can open it up stage by stage by stage as we put each fish into the tanks and do all the decorations for it as well. Uh, we do this because it doesn't give negative moodlets. If you have, if I opened up this, then the people would see that there's no plant life in this and they'd see that there's no animal life in this. And they would say, this tank looks bare, I don't like that. And they'd have negative moodlets and they, our prestige wouldn't go up as high. And also they'd say, this tank looks lifeless, we don't like that. And again, we would lose prestige and all kinds of bad so it's a very good tip actually if you're having problems with prestige trying to get from level to level to level maybe you're putting too much in at once 
and not filling up these tanks. I've seen a, a number of live streams where people have done this uh, of Mega Aquarium, where people have uh, put in say four or five tanks and they say and then said, oh well we'll we'll get round within the next hour by the end of this stream we'll have all of these tanks uh, full and everybody will be amazed at the fish in it. When in actual fact they're just damaging their reputation by having empty tanks uh, with no fish and no plant life in them. I think we'll go for the triple filters, that is really going to help us reduce down some of the weight of uh, the amount of machinery that we've got around. Um, we have Jamila who's levelled up and we'll level up feeding. Quinn has levelled up with feeding. We have the Toss of Wobbergang Shark in. There they are. There's one of them. Is that both of them? One of them. Where's the other one? That is... Ah, there's your one. Okay. So yeah, we've got the Tassel Bobber Gang Shark in today. We've got an actual entrance into a new room. Wow, I'm walking so slowly. We will, won't go into first person. So we've got a new toilet block in. And we have levelled up to rank 9. And almost got every single fish. Let's wait for this one fish to do. And then I think we'll end this episode there. I've been quite pleased with what we've done today. Um, we will open up these ones with a load of the new fish that we've just got. I think I want to do some more cold water stuff as well. And I think a cold water room would be good. Um, I haven't received any uh, feedback from you guys yet about uh, the stuff I was asking you about yesterday. Um, with the... Ah, lump suckers have grown. That's good. Um, yeah, with the... Uh, different rooms that I've, I've asked you to plan out for me. Um, so again, if you didn't see yesterday's episode or if you're kind of joining in today, welcome by the way. Uh, what I want you to do is go into a sandbox mode of Mega Query. Next, you need to just go anywhere, doesn't matter where, build out a maximum size room, just like this. So drag from one end of the screen to the other with the expand tool and build out a maximum size tool like this. If you want, you can use the uh, the debug mode, um, which I explain in a video. If you look on the main page of my channel, it's the, the, the feature video on there. It's how to cheat in, in Cheat Engine, or oh, sorry, not in Cheat Engine, on the how to officially cheat within Mega Aquarium, get extra infinite money and all that stuff. Um, it's not something I'm doing in this playthrough, but it's something that I've shown you how to do in another one of my videos. And so we've got this maximum size room. And what I want you guys to do is I want to build a modular design for all of this with some walkways through to different rooms like this. So I want you to design a mini mega aquarium. A mini aquarium in this it can be as many tanks or as few tanks as you like. Um, and I will, will feature them in this and I'll try and build them piece by piece by piece from, what, from your design. So this is your play area, a maximum size grid. Um, I don't know how, how big it is across, but just drag it out and you'll find out. Let's see. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So you've got a 26 by 26 square. So this includes um, any gift shops you want in there, any staff areas you want in there, any tanks, any decorations. Um, and if you've got the mods, um, if you don't, they're all down in the description, by the way, in the down there. Um, but if you've got the mods, then add modded tanks in as well, add, add modded fish in. Let me know what you want. Give me a description of what you want and send me a screenshot of your design as well. And I will try and implement as many of them as I can into this design as we go on. I'm going to delete this now and we're going to say goodbye for today. And thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will. See you next time.